All right, hello. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the C. Gorman Probe Breather. Um, this is a British kit that was uh, produced from like the late 10s into the late 60s or later. Um, this particular one, I believe, dates from the probably the 30s. I want to say can't be 100% on that. Uh, but really, I I can't go too far into the history. Luckily, there's a lot online. What I can show you, if you're trying to learn about these, is point out some of the major uh, details of it, and hopefully that will be to your benefit. Now, the first major thing, um, actually, is I'm just going to go through how this thing actually gets the oxygen to the user. And to that end, uh, on the back of the kit here, in this little, let me pull this around. By the way, this is like a, these go on your shoulders, this sits on your, uh, this pouch sits on your stomach. They have this back part here. So we have these straps set up and you would have a tank of oxygen here. Now from that tank of oxygen, you would have a hose running to a regulator. And attached to that regulator manifold would be this gauge glass. Uh, this gauge glass, uh, it says minutes and atmospheres and C. Gorman. And so basically you get, uh, you get the pressure that you have left in the oxygen cylinder, and then roughly how many that equates to. As you can see, uh, it's predicted you get about two hours of air. When you breathe faster and you use air faster, um, that time goes down, obviously. So, and you have that. So you have your oxygen. Then running from the oxygen, you actually, um, it goes into this small port here that you may or may not be able to see. Let's see if the camera's actually picking up what I think it is. Yes, okay, this works. So, anyway, air goes in here. Sorry, oxygen. Goes in here. And you have this large bag. Now, from what I can tell, the actual uh, oxygen generating uh, crystals or chemicals would sit in the bottom of this bag. And so, um, when the user... Well, we'll get to that in a second. The point is, anyway, air... Oxygen goes into the bag. This is called a counter lung, usually. And then it flows through here, and it goes in this can. Now, this can does not contain the rebreather chemicals. I, I kind of already said that. But this is just, it's literally a cooler, because um, the chemicals that you would have in the bag generating oxygen would make the resulting air very hot. And uh, this just gave it a chance to cool down before the user uh, breathed it in. So anyway, it goes in. It goes through... Uh, this mechanism, obviously that would be attached right there. It's got some mica valves in here, and you have a mouthpiece, your nose clips, and a little plug so that when you're not using it, you can plug it shut. Obviously this mouthpiece is uh, in mint condition, and it's doing just fine, um, except that it melted. So, anyway, as the user exhales, the air travels back down here, goes through another check valve, re-enters the bag, uh, at this point, it's mostly carbon dioxide, and there's crystals in here that take that carbon dioxide and uh, ah, piss and vinegar. And they basically break the oxygen out of it. And, uh, yeah. If you can't tell, I'm not really great with rebreathers, but the, the basic flow is, anyway, you have your oxygen cylinder, and then you have kind of a mixing chamber. A cooler user processes it, the chemicals in the bag process it back the other way, and the gauge glass tells you how much time you have left. Uh, this is a pretty bulky set. Like I said earlier, it, um, it's got two uh, shoulder straps, which are pretty dense. Uh, they've got kind of a felt uh, material to them. You've got your back section, more of that uh, felt padding. And, uh, yeah, and I believe this is a relief valve here. Um, not entirely sure, but... this. I know that, I think this, uh, this might actually be an open cycle set, just because it looks like if you open this wide enough, you can actually get this valve to release excess pressure, and so that might be, you know, as air's coming out of the, uh, sorry, as oxygen's coming out of the oxygen, uh, cylinder, um, obviously at some point, the bag's going to get overpressured, so this is probably to relieve it, so it's probably a, a open circuit. Well, I feel like I've made a complete ass of myself talking about this, and I hope it wasn't too confusing. Uh, the 
Joe, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'd, I'd be more than happy to explain or get your photos. Um, there's, if you go on the rebreather site, which basically you can find just by Googling Steve Gorman rebreather, proto rebreather, literally any vintage rebreather name you'll come up with, uh, the rebreather site.nl. Great site run by a great guy, and they really, he really does an excellent job of explaining rebreathers a lot better. Uh, really, I feel like at some points my job is to just give you guys some visual representation of these things. And this is something I'm definitely going to revisit when I have more time and room. Because as you can see here, I kind of got a cabinet here, the phone sitting on a cabinet. And uh, yeah, not exactly ideal. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, uh, you know, send them in.